there's no there's no point of talking to people. What? The shit just stopped and started again on its own. Oh, but yeah, if people if people can't see that shit, that there's a, there's no point. Yeah. It's like it's like okay, like I said, you haven't got no you know apology. There's no one asking or no. even concern or like you know like because I mean it is you know what I mean. But it like essentially there's a war going on. You know, like yeah. I said, it's a war going on outside, and you are and you're standing on the front line in the middle of this war, trying to talk to the other side. Mm-hmm. So what? You still think they're on your team? I mean, you you know that they're not. Listen, I found that they weren't because that's what I'm saying. It, we they weeded themselves out because. While you weren't saying anything on my page, like, that's mm. fucked up, you know, fuck the cops for that bullshit, or you know what I mean, like, I hate that it's like this, I wish that we could all just, nobody was saying any of that on my page when I was putting the things that I was posting, mm. but then, you know, I go to you, you know, I see something on your timeline, mm-hmm. and it's, you know, how you're not going to apologize for this and that, and black people need to stop making excuses, he was a thug, she was a this, he was a that, Going off on people telling them, fuck them. You know what I mean? I get into a conversation and get called nappy-headed bitch by my pe- people who are my peers. All kind of shit. I done had to find out some very disheartening bullshit about the people that I've surrounded myself for years. around. I've surrounded myself around these people. And I have to reflect back to that shit and be like, I must have been the fucking token nigga. You know what I mean? I must have been the fucking fool sitting there making y'all laugh, giving y'all life all fucking, y'all must have been y'all motherfucking entertainment when y'all didn't have TV at home. That's, yeah, <clears throat> you know. That's disgusting. It's a you, disgusting feeling. You know, like me and you, you know, I'm always against that shit. Yeah. When you, You're you always I mean? like, nigga, don't be yeah. laughing in these niggas' faces. Yeah, don't be don't entertaining don't this shit. That shit. Like saying, you know what I mean? With you, with Maya, the same thing, everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, nah. Like I tell you, like when I'm driving, it's like, I pull up, it's like, I don't want to have nothing to make some motherfuckers think any type of way. You ain't yeah. going to see me singing. You ain't going to see me fucking none rapping, like, none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll, you know, I'll do it. You know what Cut I mean? Cut off, but, nigga. <laughs> like, because yeah. that's basically what it is. It's like, you don't know, and it's not like the, like the you know, the token, whatever, but it's, it's as long, as long as you don't know, you're okay. Yeah. As long as you don't pose a threat. Then you're okay. You're a cool black girl. Yeah. Like, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I get along with her. She's a cool black chick. Right. Like, but as soon as we start talking the like, taboo shit, right. it doesn't. It, it's it's, <coughs> it's like, a different story. Yeah, because it's, because if you do that, <coughs> then you then you threaten <coughs> you, you threaten the uh the power the power structure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can ride. You can ride in the car. You can go out to lunch with them. You can make money for them. You can do all of that. You know what I'm saying? But when you show who you are and it threatens the, the, the power structure, then that's not okay because they have to be in control. They have to be the boss. I see so many white people and, other, you know, and shit. Not even all of all races. Like, nigga, they have a problem being under a black person. Mm-hmm. If a black person is the boss. Or mm-hmm. the supervisor. You know what I mean? It's yeah. one thing to just have a problem with all authority. I understand that shit. You know what I mean? You call a motherfucker, whatever. You know what I mean? Just because yeah. you don't like how bosses are. But it's a big problem for a black for a black person to be at the head of something. But like, why is that? Why is that? Why yeah. why is it why is it such a problem for for you to work under a black person? Why do they have to be all this extra shit? Why does a black person have to supervise? Or why does he have to be so careful? Not to do oh, anything yes. because you because if he messes up, he's he's gonna get snatched the fuck out of there. Uh huh. Why why is it that way? Seen it, seen it. Or why does or why does the black supervisor mm-hmm. have to be harder on the fucking black people? Yep, seen it, experienced it. Exactly. Seen it. So it's, it's, it's and I'm you know and me I'm just me. So when I go to work, it's all profession. You know, mm-hmm. I go there to do my job. You know, I really do. Like mm-hmm. that's how I I get down at work. But like. Because I'm, you know, in my zone just working, 
Um, there is no, there's nothing behind it. So I never get targeted. The one time that I did get targeted, like, we had to have it out. Mm -hmm. We had to have that shit out. But it's just like, which nigga do I favor most? Mm -hmm. Me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because we go to Lewis, oh, I'm, you know, or, you know, we go to the head honcho, and I'm like, look, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. He got upset. It was a personal issue. I started talking my shit. Not because I'm being, you know, massa, massa, but that's how I feel looking back. Like, that's the, oh, it just make me want to take a shower. Like, that's how I feel looking back. Like, be, who was able to articulate their argument the best? And it's Nicole. She's a girl. Big tits. Ass. You know. So, go back to your desk and I'm going to talk to him. And then, you know, next thing you know, you got somebody coming back apologizing to you. You know, it's like, you know, like, oh, it's just disgusting. Like, it's disgusting. Well, no, she could have went either way. It just depends on. But then I've seen place. him win with like more uh, with other black girls. Absolutely. You know what that's, I mean? It depends. But that's what I'm saying. Though. It depends on how progressive your company is, and plus, and basically where you live in California. You know, there's other places where that shit. You know, that shit. Ain't like the woman that. is getting shut down yeah, automatically. The woman, the woman's gonna get shut down, or the nigga who is more Uncle Tom sucking and driving and, and doing more of like the agenda. They'll get like. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's what people, and that's the thing, that's and that's what I try to tell you about. That has that has like that has nothing like that's our experience. You know what I'm saying? That's our uh, experience, yeah. and that's why that's why racism <coughs> shit like that to me is why racists look at us like we always have an issue with something, or there's always a problem with us. It's because we have to live and be aware of so many guidelines and shit that they don't have to worry about. They can just get up and go to work. They can go. They can. They can go to work and be fucking and have something like fucked up happen to them for a boss, and you know, fucking cuss out a take it to the extreme. Cuss out a supervisor, and you know, not like you know, you ain't gonna be fired or some shit. You know what I mean? You might be they, demoted or put in a different whatever department. Whatever the case may be, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But we have to live on. So many different guidelines. You mm -hmm. know, we have to worry about how, you know, we're treated at home, yeah. how we're looked at at work, how we're looked at in society, how our kids are looked at. This is just on a daily, on a daily fuck, on a daily fucking basis. Mm -hmm. We have to worry about if, if, you know, if the way I, I have to worry about the way I'm out in the street if I look a certain way. Yeah. Yep. How how am I gonna be you know perceived if I want to be bothered by the fucking Cognizant police? Of you, every do I have thing. to you know what I'm saying? Do I do I have to be this way? You know what I mean? Can my can my son just be who the fuck he is? You know what I mean? And playing football or no shit like that? You know what I mean? Do I have to make sure that he's super super <laughs> you know respectful and you know what I mean? He should always be respectful, but to the point of where he's not standing up for himself yeah. by fucked up thing by fucked up stuff like it's it's yeah. They don't have they don't they don't have any idea what it is to be black. So how do you mm -hmm. expect them to understand to be black? <coughs> it's pointless. It, that's what I'm trying to say. It's pointless talking to them. That's what mm -hmm. makes us so strong, and that's what makes them so weak. And when they're that weak, then that 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 reflection that that reflects on them how weak they are, mm -hmm. and that's a problem because yeah. it's like this motherfucker is more powerful. The the more shit you have to go through, that person's stronger. <laughs> And they don't, and they don't, they don't like that. As long as you're neck and neck, it's all good. Yeah. It's okay. Nigga, that's crazy. You you live in the same these people that you're talking about that were friends. You live in the same world, Nicole. Mm -hmm. How could you have anything to complain about what's going on anywhere else? Yeah. Me and you worked in the same place. Right. We made the same amount of money. We went out together. Right, we right, right. Like, why are you complaining and all of this shit? And don't even know. And don't even know. Like, don't even know. Like, why the fuck do you think? It's because they don't have a conscience. Nigga. They're people. They're people. That's, you <laughs> That's understand terrible. what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't have to worry about their people being eradicated off the fucking face of the earth. So they have no. They have no sense yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They don't have. They don't terrible. have any. They don't have any sense of that shit. 
There is no. They 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 live in the land of opportunity. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? fucking terrible, and it's so true because nigga, you ain't you ain't lived until <clears throat> one of your friends tell you, "Let me handle this shit. I'm white. I I got it." Right. Right. Like, and at the time, it's like, yes, talk to your people. Like, right, right. you know what I mean? Like, y'all need to do a little. Y'all need to talk y'all little Caucasian language to each other to get her to understand the same shit that I just told the fuck her. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, man, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, for me and you used to get into it like when we were first together. And I was, mm-hmm. you know, because I had so many different experiences of being of racism. Yeah. And it would be like, I would be saying things and it was like, you couldn't understand where I was coming from. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The things you would, you didn't agree with. And then I would be sitting there looking at you like, like what? Just like, ain't seen it. Like, what, when you haven't like, seen it. Like, yeah. When you but, haven't seen it, it's listen, a different story. But listen, I'm tell, but listen what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. You're saying if you haven't seen it, then it's a different story. Yeah. So maybe that's the reason why you still try with these people. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you've seen it. For me, I'm like, it's common sense. Uh-huh. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But now that you're... No, now, they legit aren't seeing it, though. This, no, this is what... Go ahead. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say, is that at one point in time, you didn't see it. Right. So it made what I was saying foreign to you. And I didn't give a fuck, because I'm like, nigga, con- like, it doesn't matter if you've been through it. You have to see what's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you weren't feeling that. So now it's reversed, and now it's it's happened to you. Yeah. You understand where I'm coming from because you're black. <laughs> right. And then now you're trying to relay the message to them, and they're not going to get it. That's terrible. Like, how do you not see the shit in front of you and not get it? Like, in my mind, that does not, it, it's not cohesive. How did you, how did, how did, how did you, well, how did you not see <clears throat> it? Because it wasn't affecting you. Because I wasn't, yeah, because I wasn't seeing it. But that's, okay, you just said you just what, what, repeat what you just said. That I wasn't seeing it. No, no, you said how can they not see it? Yeah, how can you not see it? If I put a video like dead ass in front of you right. and show you like this is what's happening, if I tell you go do your research and right. you come back two minutes, it didn't even take long. You come right. back two moments later, like oh, I found out that the video tape um, was the, from 7 a.m. was missing all the way until blah blah blah. Like, ha- the, so that okay. So that's what I'm saying. So when it was me and you, yeah, I would be like nigga. Like, how do you not see this? How do you know? How yeah. all of this shit that like, how do you not see it? But it never happened to you. That's never going to happen to them. Mm. So they're never going to see it. They're never going to be the minority. Mm, they're terrible. never going to be discriminated against because of their color. They're never going to have to walk. In the same shoes that we do. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So, until the fucking, until the power structure changes, Mm -hmm. and we are maybe in control, then it's not going to happen. The sad part about it is if we were in control, Mm -hmm. they still wouldn't see it because we, we don't treat people that way. Black people don't treat people that way, and that's the most fucked up thing about it. That's why you try to reach them, is because no matter what, if you're in, if you're in control, you don't see it as a fucking, I'm in control of these fucking white people, and they're, they're not going to be, they, if the, the roles were reversed, they wouldn't be treated the way they treat us. Right. Black people are the most accepting people that there fucking are. Of other fucking races, <clears throat> other fucking, anybody knows, have a black family, if someone else comes to fucking dinner, with a fuck that's a friend or, or, or some girl or something that's with the, you know, with the white dude or some shit like that. Niggas may hit it, but nigga, it's yeah. all up. You know, it's, it's even extra. It's like, yeah. oh, nigga, like you actually came. We're going to cater to you. Right. Like, you and know what I'm saying? And make you feel like yeah. that. If it's the, it's the reverse, you feel fucking awkward from the yes. moment you step in their fucking house. Wow. When it's, when it's us, we're not like that because we are from God. We are those people. That's fucked up and stereotypical and annoying as fuck. There goes the blue ashtray. Yeah. Um, but, but we're but we're from but we're we're from God. Mm-hmm. We have love in our heart. No matter no no matter what. When you see the shit like you know they talk about the different ideologies between Martin and Malcolm and all of that shit. Yeah. Nigga, we were getting beat the fuck up on. 
And yeah. still, nigga, the, they just, that, that shit, that Confederate shit where it was the KKK versus the Black Panther and shit. They had a video where the fucking, the, the black cop was helping the KKK nigga because he was out there exhausted. And that nigga was giving him water, like, helping him. Yeah. Like, nigga, that's just not, that's not us. Yeah. We, that's not in our DNA to be like that. We're not yeah. conquerors, nigga. When we, when we ruled the fucking world, nigga, we were out giving to the world to make things better. We weren't we weren't going from continent to continent fucking raping and pillaging and fucking taking over people's shit. That's not that's not us. It's not in our blood. Remember when they beat the shit out of that dude in LA? Which one? After the Rodney King beating. Uh, the dude in the truck. They yeah. took ripped him out the truck and beat yeah. the shit out of him and then that them black dude the black couple came and helped yeah. him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even then, motherfucker even then. And I, them niggas I remember was fucking my, him I, up. I remember my grandparents being like that, like they didn't have to beat that man like that. Yeah, that was so sad yeah, it was that man so like sad. That. They beat the shit Even out of him. Even though everyone's pissed off about what the fuck is going you on. You took one, yeah. Like, we, like yeah. he didn't have to get yeah. done like that. It was like, uh, There were people helping that man. They were, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, the, 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 it was reverse. Yeah. When Rodney King was getting beat the fuck up on, oh there was a God. reason why he was getting beat the right. fuck up on. There was a reason, like, this nigga was this. Bullshit. This motherfucker was that, this and that. Like, it's... It's, it's just bullshit. Yeah, it's completely... He had to get beat. Beat? Yeah. It took all of y'all, and y'all had to beat him? Y'all couldn't retain him? Right. Right. Come the fuck on. Y'all we know. Y'all know what this between is. Between eight motherfucking juggies weren't even trying to put handcuffs on. Between yeah. eight people, you could put handcuffs on a motherfucking man. He could sit there and lay in the fucking dirt and talk shit all the fuck he want. hmm But y'all niggas continue to whoop his ass for three fucking minutes trying to get this to break this motherfucker until he gave up, but he wouldn't give up. That's terrible. Regardless if he's high or not. There's eight of you motherfuckers. He ain't gotta know what the fuck was he gonna do. Right. That's just barbaric and disgusting. And it was just not, it was just not even fucking called for. It was just, it just, I hate that shit. I just hate it with a passion. I hate it. It's all to prove a point. It's all to keep niggas in line. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I really, I think it, I mean, I guess so. I really don't know. Like, I'm really at a loss. And I just. As far as what? I'm at a loss for words, like, <clears throat> I don't know, you know, it's no way, whether you believe in God or whether you believe in just the mere en- energy of him, uh-huh. um, all this negative energy, mm-hmm. the, the, it's go. you know, it's, the rod is going to break. The levy is going to break, you know what I mean, uh-huh. on that shit. And when it does, like I said today, like, y'all must not remember what happened to the last two security guards. Like, every time y'all do this to us, what happens? We shut down cities. Right. Is this how y'all want it? Like, we only going to evolve from this, you know what I mean? We're only going to evolve. Like, black people are only going to evolve from this shit. So, if y'all want to get military involved, what do you think that they're going to do? There's always going to be.